This Friday yeah. with Bobby Slayton. Bobby. Hi, how oh, are hi, you? Hi, Bobby. Nice to you meet know, you. know, first of all, the weather is beautiful out at the South Point. You know, you know I'm, I'm doing a show. What? what? We're not talking about your show yet, though. Oh, we're we got to tease the people. So Bobby's a comedian, 20 years. He's known as a pitfall of comedy. He's performing this weekend, but I don't want to give that away yet. Yes. I want to surprise the people at the end of the segment to tease them oh. so that they'll want to come see you. I want to talk about this illustrious 20-year career you've had, some of the highlights. Well, here's what's very funny. My publicist actually sent you a bio. It's great I hired this guy. He sent you a bio that's 20 years old because I've been doing stand up now for almost 40 years. Oh, okay. Well, let's let's pick a half. Let's and talk about the last 20. But you know what? It's so funny. I looked at that one and it said, you know, all these movies that I did and all the stuff I did. And then I look at the last 20 years and go, I really haven't done much <laughs> since the first 20 years. We might as well just leave it like that. But You've been on the Howard Stern show? Yeah, I've been on a lot of shows. What was that like? Uh, you know, even here's what's funny back then you know when he was on regular radio mm -hmm. everybody thought he was doing and he was at the time doing all this cutting edge stuff but if you look back at it now because now you have satellite radio and that's why when you do stand-up comedy I mean you know you're doing a new show you're on network television and everybody's so politically correct now one of the few places you can get away with doing anything yep. I'm sure you've said things on the air or you go never well I mean, things that you probably never, didn't Bobby. even know probably you, you thought it was fun <laughs> you know and then somebody and you've gotten flack for it you know well that was nothing I mean how many times have they left the microphone open when a politician's talking and he uses a bad word or makes a little offhand or off-color comment and people go crazy? And with all the horrible things going on in this world, you're going to get mad at a comic for doing something. So without getting, giving the location yet, because again, we're, we're teasing folks, why do you like doing comedy in Vegas? Why do I like doing comedy in Vegas? Well, you know, I like doing comedy anywhere they pay me. Okay, you know? that's fair. You know, that's know, why I'm here. You know, you know, my favorite thing about Vegas, I had a showroom here for about four or five years, and I was on the road all the time. And I had, at the time, five million frequent flyer miles on American Airlines alone. And that was just flying in this country. I mean, I know people have more than that, but they go to Hong Kong, they go all over the world. So, I mean, to make trips to Seattle and to Chicago and to Denver, you have to fly a lot to get five million miles. It was, I, I, you know, I was doing over 100,000 a year. So it was great to be here in Vegas in one place. But uh, I particularly like playing... At the South Point? South Point, thank all you. Right, let's Finally let's we get to cue talk. the graphic and we talk about a show. We can see you all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Right. Talk to us about the show and what people are going to see. Well, here's what's great about First of all, I see on the screen right there, there the is. tickets start at 20 bucks. You know, if you go to the strip and you see any dumb ventriloquist or any, anybody, any, every, any good act, the tickets are like $40 and up. You go to Brad Garrett's Comedy Club, you see some good comics. But you know what happens if you go to a comedy club? You see one headliner, a feature, a middle act, and then an MC. And usually those guys are not headliners. I mean, they're good. But what I'm doing at the South Point, I'm calling it Bobby Slayton and Friends. And I'm bringing two guys. We did this last year during the Super Bowl, or earlier in the year. And I'm bringing two guys, Lenny Clark from Rescue Me, who's a headliner. He was on yeah. that show for a long time. He had a series on CBS. And Jim Florentine. So I get two headliners to follow, which makes it difficult. What's great about doing this show is I got to follow the weatherman. Anybody, you're funny compared to the weatherman. I'm it's actually, not that hard to follow the weatherman. Greg you know? and I, actually, I'm funnier than Greg, but I'm pretty funny. I should, I should come with you this weekend to but, be one of your friends. And by the way, I didn't come Can I be here. one of your friends? Ooh, you, of course, of course. You'd be one of my <laughs> friends. But, you, 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 but I want Jessica to be I my mean, friend. I know, he's upset. I he's show. upset because Jessica did, didn't do the interview. I no. ended up doing it. Bobby, no. I'm, I'm, we're going to see you this weekend. No, I'm we're happy, out of time. But, but, I came here to see her. I didn't want to go time, on there. there I did 20 bucks, folks. I was going to ask Point. Check this guy out. He's the pit bull of comedy, and he's going to slay them this weekend. Thanks so much for joining us. We're right back after the break.